Happy Halloween! It's the BBC Good Food team here and today we're going to be showing you three very different ways to carve your Halloween pumpkin. So I'm going to be carving a very simple face design and I'm going to be using the insides of the pumpkin. Miriam, what are you doing? I'm going to be doing a Dalek from Doctor Who. Chelsea? And I'm not the best carver in the world so I'm going to show you a new tip of using a drill to do a nice shooting star pattern. So uh, first things first, all our pumpkins have been hollowed out. so. On good food, we cut the candle hole in at the bottom because A, it's a lot easier to put your candle in. There's your candle, it just sits in the bottom easier and it's a lot easier and safer to light and also you get the whole shape of the pumpkin so it looks a lot more impressive. So first things first, I am going to stick my stencil onto the side and then I'm just going to dot the lines as you would do traditionally. Miriam, what are you doing? So I've cut my garlic out already and I'm just going to fold some sellotape on the back and stick it on and then I'm going to use that to draw around it so I've got the initial shape and then I'm going to use some liner cutting tools to cut the design on. And I am going to freehand draw a star on my pumpkin with a shooting star shape coming off of it in like a wiggly pattern. As you can see, I've drawn a star on the front of my pumpkin and I'm just going to go in a shooting motion around the pumpkin and you can go all the way around or as far as you like. As long as you stay in these lines when you're drilling, it will look amazing. So now I've drawn all the way around the Dalek, I'm going to take that off and I use a small knife just to go around the lines that I've drawn and that will give me a starting point for the lino cut tool so I can do some light bursts coming out. So I've used a really simple design, because this is one for kids to do, and I've just sellotaped that to the pumpkin. Then we're just going to go along the outline of the stencil, just using a sharp pencil. Again, this is something kids can do. So I'm just using a skewer now to mark all of the corner points of my star, which I'm then going to use a knife to cut round the whole star to get my nice star shape. So I'm just going around with this fine liner cut tool but you can also use a slightly wider one if you want to make bigger shapes and that's quite good if you've got to clear a big area in the middle. I'm just cutting through the top layer of the skin because then the light's going to glow through instead of shining brightly. I'm now using my knife to cut around the star so I can pop it through the pumpkin and have a star shape cut out. So I've gone around the whole stencil and then you just remove the paper and the outline of the stencil it's on the pumpkin, we're just going to cut out with a knife. So I've hollowed out my star now. If you've got any bits in the middle that are a bit untidy, you can always use a spoon or a skewer to just neaten it up a little bit. Once you've done that, you can start with your drilling. Um, I used pencil as a guide for my shooting star shape earlier, but feel free to go out the lines or do whatever you want. I've got a small drill attachment right now, but you can always change the drill attachment so you've got bigger holes and smaller holes. It will look a bit more fun if you do that. So I'm literally going in. And I'm just gonna start drilling loads of holes all in between the lines. Brilliant. When you drill all your little holes, you might get some pumpkin coming through the holes. So grab a toothpick and just pop it straight into the holes to make it clearer, and that way your light will shine through better. How are you getting on, Barnet? Yep, fine. So this is, as I said before, it's a really simple design. So here's a tip. Once you've joined the dots on a shape, the easiest way to get it out is to put your hand through the candle hole and just to pop the shape out. And use your knife to clean it up and cut away any raggedy bits of pumpkin from the inside. So now I've got my main shape cut out, I'm going to start drawing on the rest of the detail, which I can start cutting in. And if you want any really, really bright areas, like I quite like a really bright bit on the eye stalk or maybe on this little light here, I can cut all the way through and that will really shine out. So all that's left to do is to light your candle, or if you're being super child friendly, you can use an LED light. I'm just going to add your candle. And what's going to make this design really effective is we're going to use the insides of the pumpkin to make it look like the pumpkin's being sick. <laughs> so you just take the pumpkin that you've carved out, like the pumpkin, 
is being sick. That oh. looks like the pumpkin is being sick. <laughs> so here's a really simple design you can do with kids with an extra twist to make it extra effective. So Chelsea? So mine's all done. As you can see, I've drilled all the way around in a swirly motion, but you can do whatever you like. I'm not a confident carver, so if you're not either, a drill is definitely the way forward. And uh, mine's done as well. Um, so that's brilliant if you want to get really, really creative and um, use some liner cut tools and do any design you like. That looks amazing. That does look incredible, Miriam. Oh, thanks. They all look ace. So there's three very different techniques on how to carve a pumpkin from BBC Good Food. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween!